Hello everyone, this is Namrata. Hope you all are doing good today. So this is my continuation of my previous video that is Salesforce Beginner's Guide Session 1 where we discussed um, about what is uh, Salesforce, advantages of using Salesforce, various services or offerings which are provided and we also talked about uh, what is an application, different types of um, uh, objects that is provided by the Salesforce we also talked about fields, records, tab, and other concepts um, like object relationships and uh, data security. So in this session, we will be discussing about the various uh, additions provided by the Salesforce, like what is um, sandbox, different types of sandbox which are available. Then we'll also talk about uh, page layouts, record types, and how do you create a custom field in Salesforce. For those who are watching our video for the first time, I would request you all to please uh, do watch uh, the video related to Salesforce Beginners um, a Guide Session 1. And those who are very new to our channel, I would request you all to please subscribe our channel. All right, now let's get started. We'll start with the uh, Salesforce edition. Salesforce offers bundles of features and services and uh, get each get to it specific business um, need so according to your business requirement you can either opt for you can choose what services you would like to opt for or what kind of edition is very good for your company or your organization according to your business need you can look out for those different features or editions which are available there are different types of editions which are provided one is salesforce um, by salesforce we have essential professional enterprise unlimited developer so let's um, understand each of these um, edition in a very brief when to use this essential edition this is mainly designed for small businesses who wanted to get started with the crm quickly and what is professional professional is mainly meant for medium-sized businesses requiring full-featured crm functionality when do we use the enterprise edition? Enterprise edition is mainly meant for large and complex businesses. It gives you the advanced customization and um, it allows you to create, use a lot of administrative tools in addition to the all the functionalities which is available in the professional edition that can support um, large scale deployments too. And unlimited, unlimited edition does it maximizes your success and extends it across the entire enterprise through the Lightning platform. It gives you new levels of platform flexibility for managing and sharing all your information on demand. And so basically it includes all the enterprise edition functionality, professional edition functionality and uh, essential edition functionality along with full mobile support, mobile access, unlimited custom applications, increased storage limits and a lot of the features. And now when to use the developer. Developer is mainly, as the name suggests, it lets our developer extend the Salesforce um, application and develop the application as per our business name. So how, how do we know that which edition we belongs to, that is Salesforce belongs to? Now what we can do is let's log into our Salesforce and let's see where that information is uh, provided by the Salesforce. So we are logging into our Salesforce. And uh, once we log in into the Salesforce, from the quick find under the home, you can search for company information. So you are, he, here you can see under the company settings, you see company information. Click on company information. Here it has, it tells a lot of different information like who is the primary contact for your organization. Um, and other details like what is the use space, what is the file space. Um, organization edition this is where you can see that my org is a developer edition it is using a developer edition and what is the instance na135 what is our org id this is called as an org id and let's also understand what all different licenses which are uh, available or which is best to our organization in order to enable specific uh, Salesforce functionalities for our users, we can choose any of one of the licenses, user licenses for each of the user. And in case if you want to enable additional uh, functionality, then what we can do is we can use the permission set licenses and feature licenses to provide additional accesses on top of user licenses. So let's understand um, 
different types of user licenses which are available. There are different types like Salesforce user license, Salesforce platform user license, community uh, login user license, then force.com app subscription user license. Likewise, there are different types of user licenses. This license uh, section tells us about like whether this license is available, the status is active or not, how many total licenses did your organization has purchased? Here you see the total organization for the developer is two. In that, how many licenses are being used and how many is remaining? And if at all it has any expiration date, it will also show the expiration date of that specific license. So that all that information can be viewed from the company information. Let's understand when to use the Salesforce license. This is mainly used for the users who require full access to the standard CRM and other applications. So user with this license are entitled to access any standard application or they can create their own custom application. And this license is mainly available in all the editions. Now, when to use this, uh, assign this Salesforce platform license to a user. Now, suppose that user would need, I mean, this is mainly used for the users who would need access to the custom applications only and they would not need any standard CRM functionality. So for, for such kind of user, you can give the standard platform uh, licenses. And this is mainly available for enterprise edition, performance uh, unlimited and developer uh, editions. And we talked about the sales for permission set licenses. If you want to give some additional functionality, then you can use it either through the permission set licenses or using through the feature licenses. Let's talk about the feature licenses. We assign these feature licenses to the users so that they can access the features which are not included along with our Salesforce or Salesforce platform user licenses. For example, when you when you try to check any of the user profile, user um, detail, you can see that there are certain feature licenses which are available like knowledge users, flow user, offline user, Apex mobile user, marketing user. So you can enable that specific checkbox so that they can uh, view the additional functionalities which are provided within the Salesforce. So this is how you can enable the additional functionalities on top of your user licenses. Now let's talk about what is a sandbox and different types of sandboxes which are available. Sandbox, it gives us the ability to create multiple copies of your organization in separate environment and it can be used for a variety of purposes. It could be for development, it could be for testing and if you wanted to use it for training, you can create a sandbox and you can use it for training uh, so that we, without even compromising the data and the application in your production arc, we can use these sandboxes. These sandboxes are completely isolated from our Salesforce production org. So whatever we do in the sandboxes, it will not affect our production and whatever we do in our production, it will not impact the sandbox. Let's talk about different types of sandboxes which are available. There are different types. You have developer sandbox, you have developer pro sandbox, partial copy sandbox, full copy sandbox. There are few major differences um, between all of these four sandboxes. Developer pro sandbox, the storage limit is limited. It is like 500 MB, but for developer pro, it is one, uh, one GB. And for partial copy and full copy, the storage limit is more compared to the developer. The interval limit for developer is one day. Whereas for uh, partial copy, it is five days and full copy sandbox is 29 days. Now let's understand when to use these kind of sandboxes. Developer sandbox is mainly intended for development and testing in an isolated environment. So if at all you wanted to use it only for the development, then you can use a developer sandbox. Developer pro sandbox is also same, but one of the additional feature is the storage limit is greater than the developer sandbox and it can be used to handle more development and quality assurance uh, tasks and it can also be used for doing some kind of integration testing or user training. Partial copy it is mainly used for as a testing environment so you can use this partial copy sandbox for the testing environment and the refresh interval for this uh, partial copy sandbox is uh, five days. 
full copy sandbox full copy sandbox is intend to be used as a testing environment and only full sandboxes support entire performance testing load testing like if you wanted to do the end to end testing um, then you can make use of this uh, full sandbox so it is an exact replica of your production data whatever the data you have it in the production the metadata like all the objects uh, custom objects um, custom fields all that informations will be synced up to your full sandbox will be refreshed to your full sandbox so it is the exact replica of your production org including all the data such as object records attachments and metadata as well okay now let us talk about uh, or let us understand what is a page layout so if you recall in our first video we have seen what is an app and we have also navigated to the account tab and we opened up one of the account record and we have seen different uh, fields on that specific account record uh, record page so let's go to our account same from the object manager or no from the app launcher let us go to the already existing app which is sales console app and let us open a account record page so this is how the account record page looks like so whatever the details here you are seeing all of this is being configured in the page layout like whether you want the account owner to be on the left hand side you want the rating on the right hand side the placement of all of these fields can be done using the page layout and all the record types here you are seeing right contacts opportunities cases all, of, all this is something which you can do using the page layout now let us go to the account object and create a page layout so how do we navigate from the gear icon click on setup and go to the object manager open the account object and go to page layouts so here you see there are different uh, page layouts which is available out of the box when you uh, create your salesforce when you sign up for your salesforce default one so you have for marketing one you have marketing for the sales uh, you have sales layout for the support you have support layout and this is the standard layout let's open this standard layout so page layout these controls the position of the fields related list on the record like what all different uh, buttons should be displayed on the page what fields should be displayed what custom link should be displayed all of this is something which is possible which can be done using the page layouts here you see you have the account owner all of this the placement of the fields right in the same way you are able to see the fields here the record page here now if at all you wanted to make certain editability on that specific field like visibility and editability can be possible using the page layout now if you see click on this you see on you see one two buttons like remove and properties when you click on the properties you see that it has two different properties field properties like read only or required so using this page layout you can make a field as read only or required so that is one of the major characteristics or important uh, thing about the page layout and you can do the placements of the fields like where you want this specific field how do you want if you want to have different section like you need to have a section related to the account account detail section then you wanted to have account address information then you would like to have some other general information so you can create multiple section and you can decide how you want the page to be look like so all of this is possible using the page layout now what we will do is we'll try to create a new page layout so how to create a new page layout you you go to the account and under the account you see the page layout and on the right hand side you see new click on new button and here you can use it as a clone feature you can use the already existing account page layout and clone it so what we'll do is we'll create it as an smdc one stop account layout so that whatever the placement of the fields or the different sections we have it on the account layout will get replicated when we create a new page layout we'll see how that happens so here you see 
all the fields which we have seen it in the account layout it's all been same there is no change now you can make changes as per your business need i don't want this so this section whatever you see this section this is called as a palette section wherein you see all of these like account name account number account owner so all the fields from the account object will be shown up under the field section all the buttons the standard out of the box buttons which are provided or any custom buttons which you create can be pulled up from this button section any custom links any quick actions or related list if you want to add any charts any other different uh, stand custom components you would like to add you can add it on uh, using these sections now let's go to the field section i don't want this sic so sic code so what i will do is i will click on this one and i will move my mouse and i will move back to my palette section so i've moved it now i wanted to add this account record type so what i will do i will hold this account record type and i will move back to my right hand side so you have added a field successfully now here you see you have billing address and shipping address so what i feel is let's have a section so what i'm doing i'm adding a section and i'm giving the name as address info and how do you want the layout to look like you want it as a single column or you want it as a two column i want it as a two column two column means you will see the details on the left hand side you will also see the details on the right hand side so now i am moving this sec this details to address info and from bottom also i am moving to my address info now i can save it you can either quick save it or save it and let's see whether let's see how to assign this account new account page layout to my profile so how do you assign it you can use it using the page layout assignment so you click on the page layout assignment and you can assign this specific page layout to the profile so here you see the system admin right so my use case is i want this layout to be visible to system admin profiles so i wanted to make the change so click on this okay sorry edit the assignment when you edit the assignment go to your profile where you wanted to make the change click on that go to the arc and from the page layout to use look out change it to smdc one stop account layout and click on save Here you see that for my system admin, the page layout is changed to SFTC One Stop. So this is how you assign the newly created page layout to the profile. So now let us see whether it's getting reflected or not on my record page. So let's go to my account record. Let's try to refresh it. Go to the detail section of it. It takes some time to so that the chain it takes some time for the reflection so here you see this section got added successfully you see the address info this is what is the section that we have created and we have moved the billing address and shipping address to the specific section so that is how whatever the changes you have done to your page layout that is getting reflected and on the real on the record page itself now if you recall i have removed one of the field right so that specific field is removed and this field got added so this is how you can assign create a new page layout and you can assign the newly created page layout to the profile so yeah so that is what um, so we discussed about the page layout let's talk about the uh, record types so record types let you offer different business processes quick list values and page layout to different users so you might create record types to differentiate your regular sales deals from your professional services engagement deals offering different picklist values for each 
or you might display different page layout for your customer cases versus billing cases. So let's uh, take a use case. The use case is you have an account uh, record page, right? So now system admin has a SFDC one-stop account layout. So what we want is we want to create two record type. One is for the client because account could be a client account and it could be a business account as well. So you can create two record types and let us have the same page layout. Let us not make any changes to the page layout. But what I wanted to make uh, the difference is I want certain values to be visible only to client record, client uh, accounts and only other values to be visible to my business partner. So we'll see how that can be achieved using the record type so let's go to my account i go to my account manager i choose my object as account let's go to record types and create a new record type so to create a new record type you have to click on the new button and click on new record type so you're creating a new record type and giving it as client So the label name and the record type name, it will get auto filled up. So the record type name is the unique name used by the API and the manage packages. So it is mainly used. This is the name which is shown up to the end user or on the user interface. Now, if at all you wanted to, you know, do some at the back end or if uh, any of the manage packages or if it has to be used by the API, you will be using the record type name. We'll talk about, about the API or other steps in detail. And this first step is you have to enable this record type for one of the, any of the profile. So for me, the use cases, for now I will enable it for my system admin profile. Click on next. And then the second step, it is asking me for this, client record type which page layout you would like to assign i since i have one page layout which i created i would like to use the same page layout click on save and here you see these and all are the different pick list values which are available for editing so in this list of pick list values i can choose one of those and let's make a difference I don't want all of these values to be visible to my client. I only want, I don't want these three. So I will remove it from this particular value and I will move back to my available values. So whenever a user is creating a client record type and if they wanted to choose the value from the type field, which is a pick list field, I would want only these values to be shown up to the user. So that is what is my use case and that is what that is how I'm planning to do. Click on save. Now let's create another record type which name business. I'm creating a new record type and giving the business. And the name record type name will be same. Let's enable it for my system admin and um, select the page layout as SFDC one stop and click on save uh, from the pick list available for editing let's go to the type uh, pick list and for this one i don't want prospect i don't want customer i don't want customer channel and click on save let's go back to our account so from this account record page I can see the new button here. So what I'm trying to do is I'm creating a new account. So let's see what happens when I try to click on new. So when I try to click on new, here you see it is asking me whether you want to create a client account or you would want to choose a business account. So for me, first I will choose the client account and click on next. If you recall, we made changes to the type value, right? Type is a pick list value. So you see only four values are visible to this client user whoever is choosing this record type and other values are not visible so that is a good part about the record type now let's go back to the account 
and let us create a business account and when I select this radio button as business and click on next and see further type here you see I am just seeing these four channel installation partner technology partner and another so I, I am able to make the differentiation or dif distinguish between two pages the user with client record type can only choose certain list of certain big list values and user with business can choose certain list of values likewise you can make the layout also different to both of them but now for the demo purpose i have chosen only the big list values so i hope you you got the clarity about what is a page layout and uh, record types let's cancel it so admin can configure the different record types as per the business requirement and we can assign those record types to our uh, profiles. Okay, so we discussed about page layout. We also discussed about record type. Uh, now let's talk about uh, different data types which are available. There are various kinds of data types um, which are out of the box like auto number, formula, roll up summary, field, checkbox, currency. Likewise, there are a lot of different data types. Let's see these data types um, uh, from by looking into the Salesforce. Let's go to the account. Let's go to let's go to fields and relationship and click on new. When you click on a new, so what we are trying to do is we are trying to create a new custom field for the account object. So when you try to create a new custom field here, you see that these are all the list of uh, data types which are available. You see account number, auto number, formula, roll up summary, field, checkbox, currency, date. So whatever the values we have, you can choose those values as per your business need. Suppose you wanted to create a text field, which is like um, one account information or account uh, description or whatever it is, you wanted to create a new field. So according to your business need, you can choose which data type to choose uh, and you can select that specific data type and create a new custom field. So I think this is what we have for our today's session. I hope you got some understanding about uh, different types of additions we have, what kind of licenses um, we have in the Salesforce, different sandboxes, what is our layout, page layout, record time difference between both of those page layout and record types and a data type. Uh, in my next uh, session, we'll cover different other topics related to Salesforce like uh, how to create a custom object and we'll also try to create few custom fields and few other topics will be covered in my next session three uh, until then take care stay safe and have a good day bye bye thank you all for watching